Hi there, Lee Griggs, 3D artist and Arnold advocate at Autodesk. And just want to cover how to create this painterly style using Bifrost with Arnold in Maya. To create a wide variety of different uh, painterly styles. Okay, so I've got a head model here. I'll put a link to the in the description where you can download a free head scan model. So I'm going to start off by creating a Bifrost graph in the graph editor. So just drag this down here, create a new graph, and then I'm going to middle drag the head into the Bifrost graph editor. Okay, so I'm going to scatter some points on the head model, connect the mesh to the geometry. Uh, we use the default uh, settings, and then create the set point shape, which we're going to change to a quad shape. So from disk to quad, and just increase the size, I'm going to use something like 30, and just connect the to the output so we can see what's going on. Okay, so there's a head going to the scatter, and then setting the scatter points shape. Next thing I'm going to do is start shading the quad points. So, jump up the node editor and create a standard surface shader. Let's call that uh, paint strokes. Okay. I guess to create the paint brush style look, we need to get a paint brush uh, alpha map and connect that to the opacity of the standard surface shader. So if you type in paintbrush alpha in Google, you can find a wide variety of uh, paintbrush maps you can use. Just make sure it's something like a PNG with an alpha map uh, that we can use for the paint stroke brush style. You may need to invert the, the map. Um, maybe use a complement shader to do that in, in Arnold, or just invert it in, uh, in post. So, uh, I'm going to create an image shader, on all image shader, and connect that out color to the opacity. Okay, find my paint stroke, and then we need to assign it to the Bifrost. I'm going to assign it to the head model as well. It's giving a, an interesting look. So we're getting the opacity on both the header and the on the quads as well, but uh, you might want to shade the head uh, separately, it's up to you. So we go back to the Bifrost and scatter points, we're going to increase the amount to 9000. And just make sure you disable screen aligned. Because at the moment they're all aligned to the, the camera here. Okay, it's starting to look a bit better. We go back to the standard surface shader, you get a bit to a different colour. And then we could increase the roughness a little bit and just increase the transmission just to add a bit of blending between the quad points. We can also add some subsurface just to make it look a bit more alive. Now you might notice some black marks here where we've got so many points, the uh, transparency depth isn't high enough. So if you go to the render settings and under ray depth, uh, we're at 15, I think it's 10 by default. We could go even higher if you go back to 10. You might notice some more black marks here. Where we're not going to get enough transparency between the quad points, so let's try 20, should improve that. There you go. Okay, uh, let's go back to the standard surface shader. So we can tweak the shading even further using a utility shader, so I'm going to replace the color with connect to color correct, so we can change the colors using the hue shift and then connect a ramp to the input, ramp RGB. 
set that to custom and to that we'll connect the utility shader so our color are the utility to the inputs of the ramp so now color utility shader set the shading to flat because we just want pure color from the utility and I'm going to add some extra colors for the for the ramp. So I can set the interpolation to none. Just add a few more shades. Again, set these to none. Oops. Okay, stuck them up. Just want a uh, harsh gradation. Okay, so the final shading, the standard surface shader with the brush stroke alpha going into the opacity, and then I've got a color correct just for the hue shift to change the, the hue of the paint strokes with the ramp set to custom, some colors here, and then we've got the utility shader. Shader mode set to flat, which enables us to change the color mode. So we can maybe try normal. You can see how that's affecting shading of the uh, strokes. Uh, maybe UV coordinates to get different kind of style. So yeah, have, a, have an experiment, try, try changing different color modes to get different uh, looks. Finally, I'm just going to add a new imager that we've got in 725 called the Overlay Imager. Just give us some information about our rendering. We can also override the with, with some tokens here or create our own text. Also got an input in the Bifrost graph that's going to the amount here. So if you touch the input to the amount and then go to the uh, Bifrost extra attributes it gives you the amount there which you can keyframe which I've done uh, 1 to 9000 over 200 frames so if I was to change the frame now you should see renders fewer quad points so something you might want to experiment with either an animation or just just uh, for look dev Purposes. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.